Former National Conference leader Junaid Mattu has been elected as the mayor of Srinagar city. He's got support from the BJP. Mr. Mattu had resigned from the National Conference to con contest these elections. Now he's been elected the mayor of Srinagar city. Nazir Masoodi spoke with him. All right, Nazir Masoodi is uh, joining me live uh, right now from Srinagar. Uh, Nazir, Nazir, if you can hear me, um, what has uh, Mr. Mattu told you, what his agenda is going to be and, his, uh, and that the support he's got from the BJP? Well, it is, uh, Rohit, for the first time that the People's Conference candidate, uh, and uh, which has actually been a North Kashmir's Kupara district-based party, and it is having a mayor in Srinagar, and the mayor is supported by the BJP. So in a sense, because Peace People's Conference has a pre-poll and post-poll alliance with the uh, BJP. So as you can see on the video, uh, Ram Madho congratulating uh, Junaid Mattu. And Junaid Mattu is, you know, actually becoming mayor, had become controversial even before the uh, polling of the municipal elections took place when governor talked about that a foreign educated a uh, man would be, you know, uh, a mayor of the Srinagar city and uh, then, but he won from the three municipal wards in Srinagar city and there was secret voting today uh, and uh, in the voting he got 70 votes, 70, uh, you know, corporators voted for him and his opponent got just 26 votes, uh, but the deputy mayor has, has gone to a candidate who is backed by the Congress. And this win has, has many, many political connotations in, 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 in Kashmir. One, this, this election was largely boycotted, though most of the elections are boycotted, but the way this was boycotted was unprecedented. And though it and it was completely violent stream. Junaid Mattu told me that look, every election is by boycotted, even the Farooq Abdullah's election last year by election in the, the parliament seat was also boycotted, and he had got that time there was less than seven percent. And this is what Junaid Mattu has, has told me a while back. Well, People's Conference candidate supported by BJP has won Srinagar's mayor elections. I am joined by Mr. Junaid Mattu. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And you have won it. It was a secret vote. Yes. How difficult it was because the way the elections were <coughs> conducted, low turnout, then there was, it took long time. Then there were elections today. Congress was also claiming they'll won. Well, turnout was more than the parliament oh. by poll, uh -huh. so it's a step higher. Okay. Uh, parliament by poll uh, from Srinagar saw a turnout of 2.9% from Srinagar. This saw a higher turnout. There are wards which polled, uh, you know, m more than 2,000 votes, okay. which we didn't see in parliament in elections. And I doubt if, uh, you know, uh, both the parties would be participating, the turnout would be any different. Uh, the elections were unusual because of the circumstances, law and order circumstances, the threat, the scare, but more so because the two regional parties have stigmatized the electoral process. Mm. Uh, I don't know if they did that inadvertently, if they miscalculated, and if they actually believed that New Delhi would cancel the elections and their bluff was called, but they have stigmatized the electoral process. It was a little challenging on that front, but an election is an election. In the post-electoral scenario, we saw NC, PDP, uh, Congress, but Congress was con uh, contesting, both NC and PDP actively interfere in the mayoral election. There is no doubt about it, at the topmost level. Okay. Written affidavits were sought from uh, some uh, corporators who had a previous affiliation with the parties. <coughs> they were coerced, harassed, intimidated to support the Congress candidate. And this was being done at the topmost level, not just the legislative level, at the leadership, party okay. leadership level.